So you might be in a position where for some reason iOS 17.1 is having some problems or for some reason 17.1, 16.7.2 or iOS 15.8 are just not working out that well. Now there's a few different ways to go and fix this. The very first thing I recommend doing is making your way over to your specific internet connection settings. So making your way over to basically your standard uh, Wi-Fi connections, scrolling down into general, which is right here, going into software update, and what I'd recommend doing is seeing if you can reinstall this update. Sometimes, as you can see, it may take a little bit of time for that update to go ahead and install. So that can be its own little thing. Just go ahead and make sure that that update has enough time to properly install. And that can pretty much be the number one reason, you know, to basically fix this problem. Now, if you go ahead and do that and that's still not working, you may want to double check your internet connection or your cellular connection. A lot of the times, there can be lots of issues with your Wi-Fi or your cell connection or whatever. If you have a slow internet connection, if you have a slow Wi-Fi connection, that can also be another reason why you might be running into this problem. So just go through and make sure it's not a Wi-Fi or internet connection issue. Now on top of that, what I'd recommend doing too is going into your general settings right here, going down until you see iPhone storage. So clicking into iPhone storage right there. And what I'd recommend doing right here is to pretty much just make sure you have enough storage saved and installed onto your device. If you do not have enough storage, that right there can also be another massive problem. So just make sure that you have enough iPhone storage. Like I said, for a lot of people, the storage can kind of be its own issue. So what I recommend doing here is scrolling down until you basically you know, have enough storage saved onto your device. And that right there can probably be another you know, issue solver. Now, the biggest thing I always say is that updates can take a long time to install. I've been stuck at preparing update probably for like 10 minutes now. So it can take a long period of time no matter what you do. So just kind of keep that in mind. But if it's still not working, you can try restarting your device. That can be another thing that can kind of work, but those are pretty much the main ways to go and fix this problem. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so